Contra Costa County and Santa Clara County, both on that list after a spike in hospitalization rates. KPI X5's Wilson Walker is in Contra Costa County, where those reopening dates are now up in the air. Wilson? Yeah, Ken, here in Martinez, where they are taking advantage of the street space on this nice Friday evening here. Now, next week was going to be a big week here in the county for more reopenings, uh, indoor dining, gyms, hotels, a lot of personal care services. Now, health officials are having some second thoughts. I was hoping for it, but to be honest, I've been expecting delays based upon what I've seen going on in the other states around here. After four months in the takeout business, Chef Dave would like to get his Hot Stuff Cafe tables back on July 1st. He would also understand a pause. I'm worried about my health, my employees' health also, if people aren't healthy coming in here and then sitting in here and contaminating other people. So I do have a big concern about that also. Contra Costa is now on the state's watch list of counties that are officially raising concern, and it landed on that list because it reflects a number of trends we are seeing across California. Hospitalizations went up some 3.3 percent uh, in the last 24 hours. Here, hospitalizations have increased 42 percent over the past week. The percentage of tests coming back positive is also up, and then there is the shift in who is testing positive. Well, I think seniors are doing a great job. Uh, I don't see a lot of young people with masks on. That's really a concern. An anecdotal observation from downtown Walnut Creek, but here are the numbers. Back in April, just 38% of cases here were those 40 years old or younger. Now it is 55%. The concern among health officials is that rapid spread among younger people will eventually reach the more vulnerable. It's really important to, to be with your friends and be with people, and we're all feeling starved for that. But for the greater good, we have to be really super cautious. So what is driving up the numbers? Well, the, the county says it's just people getting out of the shelter routine and heading back to more normal routines. It's as simple as that. A decision on the next phase and whether to hit pause on the July 1st move, that will come on Monday. Live here in Martinez, Wilson Walker, KPX5.